Hi, and welcome to another Majestic.Cloud video. My name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to show you how to install Amazon Linux 2 on a local virtual machine using VirtualBox. So, from time to time, you might need to use Amazon Linux 2 locally to test your application in similar conditions as they are in the production. So, in order to do that, you can install uh, Amazon Linux 2 locally as a virtual machine and uh, there are several virtualization platforms supported VMware, Oracle VirtualBox, KVM and Microsoft Hyper-V. Uh, in this tutorial we will use VirtualBox. We will need two files, a VirtualBox disk image and a seed boot image. Um, this seed boot image you can build it uh, yourself or you can use the sample provided by AWS. So in this video we'll um, uh, use the sample provided by um, Amazon to make the video shorter but I will uh, put the link in the description on how to build the seed um, image yourself. The seed image contains information like um, default users, um, the host name of the machine and some um, networking configuration. As I said, these are the two files, so the VirtualBox disk image and the seed uh, ISO file, boot image I mean, and uh, let's uh, open up uh, VirtualBox Manager and start uh, configuring the, the virtual machine. So here I will click on new and um, I will put a name, Amazon Linux 2, here I need to uh, provide the machine folder. I will use my E drive. Okay, and then let's use this folder. Here we need to choose uh, Red Hat according to the documentation. And uh, here it's the memory size of the virtual machine. I will leave the default. Uh, value and here I need to use an existing virtual hard disk file and uh, let's choose it in my folder where I have do, uh, those two files downloaded I need to select the virtual disk image provided by Amazon ok choose and now I click on create so I have here the virtual machine but I still need to go to the settings and here the first setting uh, we will need to choose uh, change is the storage here I need to uh, click on the empty uh, IDE controller and load the boot uh, image file so choose a disk file and that seed uh, boot image that I have I need to select it here then we will go to network and for network we need to choose bridged adapter and uh, this is it now I click on OK and I will start up the virtual machine um, it is as easy as that but um, let's wait for the machine to start and I will uh, show you uh, some other stuff inside the machine so you can make it um, um, more easily accessible so the virtual machine starts now and um, it does some initialization uh, steps we need to wait for this to finish and then continue uh, configuring it so the machine finished booting I can now log in the default user is EC2 user and the default password provided by Amazon is Amazon so I logged in now um, what I want to do is I will install uh, Apache HTTPD serv server and uh, um, access the um, local website uh, from the guest on the host machine so first of all let's do a sudo yum update so we update uh, all the packages and uh, this should not take long 
once this, do this is done we'll install Apache and also Midnight Commander for uh, managing the files much easier okay uh, this is taking a bit but not too long okay now it's done let's install httpd and also uh, midnight commander i will tell tell you about this uh, a little bit later okay um, apache is installed let's sudo service httpd start okay let's go into midnight commander i will do this using sudo mc and this is a little small little uh, utility that uh, allows you to edit files easier and uh, go inside directories i'm using this for uh, making uh, stuff easier on linux uh, machines so i'm in the uh, var www folder and i'm going into html you can see here the path and here i will create a file uh, with shift and the f4 key and this will be hello from amazon linux 2 let's save it and i will name this index html just one moment okay and now this is done i will um, learn uh, the ip address of this machine so let's um, do an if config so the um, ip address of my machine uh, my uh, virtual machine is this one 192 168 uh, 133 237 so i will go into the browser and um, enter that um, address and I'm seeing the page the um, the web page that uh, I've just set up there hello from Amazon Linux 2 so one other thing I want to show you is how to log in uh, uh, using an external um, terminal not using the built-in uh, virtual box um, um, interface because this is uh, hard to work with so let's try to log into this machine so we'll do an ssh ec2 uh, user at um, 192 168 okay and what i get here is a confirmation first that I want to continue and then it will um, throw me out because uh, I'm not using a um, key to log in so in order to change that I will go back to the machine fire up MC again and go to the etc folder I mean directory and uh, inside the uh, here we have SSH okay you see the path here and SSHD config okay I need to edit this file go down and find where it says password authentication is no I will change this to yes and challenge response authentication also from no to yes save the file and then issue uh, sudo service sshd restart and it restarted at the ssh service and now if i'm going back to uh, this terminal and i'm connecting to the machine now it will accept my password and i'm logged in also from from this and I can use here MC as well if I want to but that's not the, uh, besides the point of this video okay 
so this is it i hope you like this video if you liked it uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you again on majestic cloud have a good day